Can you believe that I forgot about cream soda blondes? That's such an important blonde color. I have it in the Zalgona and the Shakerazzo, which is on my head. So forgive me for forgetting something that's so mucho importante, I like really forgot. Fantastic. Look at the dimension on this. Fabulous, fabulous dimension. It has like a hundred different color blondes. Okay, so this Dalgona and cream soda blonde. And you know what? It's very similar. This has a lot of the lighter in the front. So this was good. This was very good. Now, the first thing I want to do with this British Milk Tea Caliente is I want to get it off my face, first of all, because it's a face flopper. And this is what we're looking to do. Let's see if this thing is heated up. I know some people are very against using steam. And I get it. I get it. I really do. Look about these. This method is it's very easy and it's not that time consuming. So let's look. See, I don't want it too curly here. And it has to go under the bonnet hair dryer, no question about it. Now here is my famous bonnet hair dryer. This is the answer to all my hair problems with these wigs. So as you can see, it's all encased in here, okay? And we're going to keep it on here on high for two hours because it's heat friendly, so it could take it. We will come back and see our results tomorrow because we're going to leave it overnight to really set. Otherwise, it's not going to take that well. So the longer you leave it, even two nights, the stronger, uh, the more set the curl will be. So I'll catch up to you when we have our finished products. Until then. It's Monday night and we're back. So let's see how our Caliente in British Milk Tea came out with our curl formers. She was under the bonnet hair dryer for a two hours on high. And let's see how she did. Now, as you recall, we don't know why the curl fell out, but we know that it sure did. So as you can see, this is looking very promising. And of course we seamed her off the face, so that's done. That's been accomplished. And she's looking quite spiffy. You know, I really like these curl former things. They kind of make it a little bit less treacherous to navigate this terrain compared to the curling wand which i dare say is more um kind of more dangerous even because you're working with heat now this does not work without the bonnet hair dryer and it does not work unless it is damp Okay. And if you want more curl, you can tweak it with the curling wand. Now, as you can see, this came out pretty good. And you can certainly separate the curls. So the curl really came out beautiful. So what this tells us, I think, is that all is not lost with these HD wigs, but they do take an enormous amount of labor-intensive uh, time 
to resurrect them from the wig graveyard. So let's do a 360. So we can see how good she looks now. What an improvement. And of course, you know, you can play with it so that it looks you know, a little on the messy side. So I hope that helps you deal with these heat-friendly wigs when the curl goes dead on arrival. And so we meet again in the next video.